I'm Greg Gutfeld. I'm Martha McCallum. I'm Brett Baer, and this is the Fox News Rundown. Friday, January 21st, 2022. I'm Eben Brown. Chances are the mayor of your city is in Washington meeting with counterparts, learning how to make the economic shifts due to COVID work locally. The decentralization of our economy in this country is something that small cities and rural cities across America can benefit greatly if they lean in, and they should lean in. This is the Fox News Rundown Evening Edition. The U.S. Conference of Mayors has been holding their winter meeting this week. The confab of city and local leaders has been entertaining the likes of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, and even President Biden. But it is also a chance for them to make connections amongst themselves and maybe between their hometowns. You already know where to go for breaking news and trusted analysis this podcast. But do you have a trusted source for your day-to-day hiring needs? That's Indeed. If you're hiring, you need Indeed. Because Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. And Indeed is the only job site where you're guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements or else you don't pay. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites hoping to find candidates with the right skills, you need one powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. Indeed partners with you on every step of the hiring process. Find great talent through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. Start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash fox news offer valid through march 31st go to indeed.com slash fox news to claim your 75 dollars credit before march 31st indeed.com slash fox news terms and conditions apply need to hire you need indeed number one we're like a support group for each other because obviously uh, leadership is is lonely and difficult and so uh you know it's nice to have people that come uh and meet with you irrespective of party don't judge you and, and sort of see you as a human being oftentimes in politics we're dehumanized francis suarez is the mayor of the city of miami in florida but he's also the president of the mayor's conference he tells us about how important mayors are to keeping communities afloat during a crisis like a pandemic and how to make sure a city thrives as economics change and populations shift. We obviously share best practices. You know, one of the things that I've done as a Republican uh, president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors is I I, I want to create an agenda for prosperity for this country. I call it an agenda for America. And, you know, the agenda is working in Miami. You know, we're number one in the nation in tech job growth, number one in tech job migration. Uh, We've grown 200% in VC deals closed year over year, according to PitchBook. We've moved over a trillion dollars of assets under management companies to Miami. So, uh, you know, we're the happiest city on the planet, the healthiest city on the planet. And so, you know, we're, we're, the reason why we're doing that, there's a reason, right? It's a formula and it's a very simple formula. We want to keep taxes as low as humanly possible. And guess what's happened? Our budgets have grown. You know, number two, we want to invest in public safety uh, and invest in homelessness. And we have the lowest homeless rate since 2013. It's almost a 10 year low. And we actually saw a 25% drop in, um, in homicides this year, where we're seeing a precipitous increase in homicides across urban America. You know, the third thing is we want to lean into innovation. We've become a pro-Bitcoin, pro um you know, pro uh, crypto city, and we've seen a tremendous amount of investment in our city, $200 million from FTX naming the arena. We saw, you know, the Bitcoin conference coming, which is a massive economic engine for us, you know, multiple exchanges and multiple funds on the crypto space moving, which creates hundreds of high paying jobs. So we want to make sure that uh, we are creating the kind of economy that's going to thrive for a generation. So let's just say you're, uh, you know, I'm the mayor of a smaller Midwestern city or town, and I come to this conference. Conference and and I I get to hear you speak and I get to meet with some federal officials. You know what's in it for me? Why why uh, why, why should I be coming to this conference? How do, how do I as a, as again a small town or a you know, mid sized city mayor really benefit from it? I think there's two major lessons if you're a, sort of a, a rural small city in America, right? I think one is and I told the story today when I was interviewing uh, Leader McCarthy uh, the story of Marble, North Carolina. Now Marble, North Carolina is a small city. Uh, in, in, in North Carolina, uh, population at one point was 40,000. 
and they were a Levi's manufacturing uh, facility city, right? They, they, the whole city economy revolved around this Levi's manufacturing plant. Obviously, at some point uh, in the Industrial Revolution, uh, you know, those jobs went to China, where the wages were lower, and the entire city imploded and went from 40,000 to 400. Now, that Levi's uh, facility has been transformed into a, a carbon neutral uh, Bitcoin mining facility and the jobs are coming back and they're high paying and the population is coming back to that city. So I think number one is, look, you need to lean into innovation. There is a technological industrial revolution that can benefit rural America tremendously. I think number two is the understanding that we live in, in this decentralized world. You and I are talking. You're in a you're in a city in Florida right now. I'm in I'm in I'm in D.C. And so you know when a job, when a when a company's created in Miami that is funded by a VC or funded by a private equity uh, infusion of capital, oftentimes they're creating companies that are uh, remote work optional. So anyone can work for that company anywhere in the world. What does that mean? That means that you can get a high paying job in a rural city in America uh, where the cost of living is significantly less than it is in big cities and and you can make money. And so the, the decentralization of our economy in this country is something that small cities and rural cities across America can benefit greatly if they lean in, and they should lean in. They should be communicating with us. Leader McC uh, McCarthy had a great idea, which is instead of creating sister city relationships, you know, between foreign cities and, and, and domestic cities, we should be creating sister city relationships among ourselves to cooperate and collaborate and make sure that there's a labor market that's available to these newly created companies uh, so that people can get high-paying jobs across America. I want to go back to something you said a little, just a little bit earlier. You mentioned you you are a Republican. There are other mayors that are are Democrats, but also often um, mayor uh, positions for mayor and 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 camp and races for mayor and often city commissions or city councils. They're nonpartisan in nature, so you you kind right. of have to um sort of uh, can you can you talk about that a little bit more because obviously as a Republican you 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 work in in that sphere but you also have a, a different type of job than say a governor or a president because there is an apolitical aspect to it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We don't have the luxury of posturing. We have to get results, right? We, um, you know, I was blessed to be elected by 85% of my residents and reelected by close to 80% of my residents. That means I have, you know, a large number of people's confidence, uh, irrespective of their party. So they've they've looked at what I've accomplished uh, before uh, some of my philosophical beliefs. And I think, you know, in this country where there's hyperpartisanship tremendous division. I think what people are looking for is some people who are honest, speak clearly, and get things done. Um, and I think that's uh, the motto of mayors. There was a, there was a, a former mayor of Pittsburgh when I, when I started, uh, Bill Peduto, who used to say, you know, Mr. Mayor in America, there's three parties. I said, really, Bill, what are they? And he said, there's, there's Republicans, there's Democrats, and there's mayors. And I think there's, there's some truth to that in that, you know, our job is to, is to um, you know, without uh, creating a partisan prism is to just solve problems, and um, we do that effectively, which is why. And by the way, in, in a modern day world, um, we're becoming more and more influential because you have 24-hour news cycle. So many of us are are getting on, you know, cable news, and even with this pandemic, as you sort of, um, on, you can see. Mayors have to take an outsized role in, in executive decision making. So, um, you know, it's it, it's an interesting time uh, in this country, and uh, mayors are leading the way. You've been listening to Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, also president of the United States Conference of Mayors, on the Fox News Rundown Evening Edition. We'll be right back. From the Fox News Podcasts Network, download and listen to The One with Craig Gutfeld, the co-host of The Five, like you've never heard him before. You know him, you love him, you want to be like him. Subscribe and listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. You're the mayor of a rather large and growing city. And, you know, so so many people in this country, look, they'll never meet the president of the United States one on one. They likely won't ever meet or even see their governor one on one. Um, they might see the, their mayor if they live in a large city. They might see them quite often. And the smaller the town they're in, they may know the mayor. They might be related to the mayor here in the, this, the town that I live in. The town that I live in, the mayor owns a restaurant. You know, you can go in and eat and then you can tell them about exactly. the pothole that needs fixing. So, um, exactly. you know, so. so you can't hide. Yeah, exactly. You can't hide. So that that kind of gives you a bit more uh, both face time, but also, I think, accountability, wouldn't you say? No, there's no doubt about it. And I think we're comfortable with that. Right. That's how we 
that's how we um, that's how we exist. And I think you know people are very frustrated. Particularly, there's another phenomenon that you didn't mention, but but it's true as well. Oftentimes, the seats of government, like for example, city hall is usually right in the center of the city, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's like everybody can get to you. Everyone can show up at your office. It's a small, you know, usually a, a short car drive or a walk away. You know, uh, in state legislatures, you know, oftentimes the you know you have to fly to the capital. Right to to, to, to to talk to somebody, right? Uh, to talk to a governor, to talk to a legislator. They're 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 not uh, in your city, right? And uh, and the same is for Washington. I think part of the reason why uh, people are frustrated with Washington and why it feels like sometimes Washington's broken is because it's so separated and distant uh, from where people live. It's almost like there's living two different realities. You know what I mean? There's a Washington reality, and then there's the real world. And uh, and, and, and that, that kind of disconnection frustrates people. One, one last question for you, sir, um, and we'll let you get back to the conference. And, and uh, that is uh, the entire state of Florida really has seen a, a massive uh, population influx over the past couple of years. We now as a state outpopulate New York State. Um, and, of course, South Florida, the Miami area, is is one of the hot spots that people do come to. Um, how do you accommodate such a, a sharp rise, a sharp quick rise uh, in uh in population, I mean, when I think of Miami, certainly the city of Miami, I, I think of it's kind of feels like it's filled up. But ultimately, there's plenty of places that we're still building houses. No doubt, and I think you'd be surprised to know that Miami, in our grow, in our in our envelope of of zoning, actually has the ability to grow without any um, uh, additions or zoning additions. Um, it has the ability to grow 10x, so we actually can grow 10 times larger than what we are right now. So we are prepared for that uh, growth. But the second thing I tell people is, look, the reason why people want to come to Miami or where we're growing is because we're desirable. So, you know, and sometimes when I hear, you know, some people complain, like, hey, you know, costs are going up a little bit. And I say, look, yeah, that's certainly a byproduct of sort of supply and demand. And maybe there's a little supply and demand imbalance, uh, which hopefully is momentary. But the, the, the answer is not let's make our city less desirable so that less people come. Right. Because that's we're, the reason why they're coming is because we're very desirable. So, you know, it, it, it's hard when, when someone says that to a public official, because, you know, you're, the, what is your response supposed to be? OK, fine. You want me to solve that problem? We'll make the city less desirable, well, which means there'll be less high paying jobs. You know, there'll be uh, uh, less of all the things that we actually want. So it's hard because people, on the one hand, they want one thing. It's like the the, the saying, you know, uh, you know, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. <laughs> all right, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor Francis Suarez, mayor of Miami and also the president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors at their winter meeting in Washington, D.C. Thank you for being with us on the Fox News Rundown Evening Edition. Thank you so much. You've been listening to the Fox News Rundown. Rundown. Stay up to date by subscribing to this podcast at foxnewspodcasts.com. And for up-to-the-minute news, go to foxnews.com. From the Fox News Podcasts Network, download and listen to The One with Craig Gutfeld, the co-host of The Five, like you've never heard him before. You know him, you love him, you want to be like him. Subscribe and listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com.